In this video, we will learn how to connect to this EKS cluster from your local machine. The prerequisite for that you have to have the AWS CLI on your local machine. So there are instructions on the AWS documentation how to install it based on your system if it is Linux, Mac and Windows. So you have to install the AWS CLI. And the second you need cube cutter command on your local machine. For that also there are instructions in their official website that you can follow to install this cube cutter on your local machine. Once you have these, ins these installed successfully on your machine, we will configure your AWS CLI so that it is able to connect to the EKS cluster. So I have created this EKS cluster using this user, DevOps user. So if you go to your IM and click on your users, you have to generate the access keys and that you will configure it on your local machine. So let me show you how does that work. So, so once you have AWS installed on your local machine and, and if you run this AWS configure, you can provide your access key ID, secret access, default region and default output none, that's it. So this just ensure that you have configured it on your machine. The next step, so now we have both installed on our local machine. The next step is how we will connect to the EKS cluster from our local machine. So for that, you have to run this command, which is AWS EKS hyphen region, and you will provide your region update cube config. So basically all, all Kubernetes uses the cube config file to connect to your EKS cluster. And when you run this command and here you have to provide your cluster name. So this is our cluster name. So when I run this command, it automatically update my cube config file, which has the credentials and all the uh, keys to connect to your EKS cluster. So let me just run this. And as soon as I run this, you can see that it says that updated context for this cluster in this particular file. After that, if I run this command cube cutl pods hyphen a, hyphen a means all namespaces. So here you can see currently we don't have anything deployed on our system. So you are seeing all the cube system namespace and all the add-ons pods that was created. And if we do the cube cutl nodes hyphen a so here you will see the nodes that we have uh, that our node group has created so these are the basic commands to just check the pods and the nodes and this is how you actually connect to your eks cluster from your local machine and this is required now because now if i want to deploy any applications i will be using kubectl command to deploy it